In this tutorial we're going to look at creating a basic form for entering data into a spreadsheet and uh, using some of Excel's data validation options. Uh, basically the scenario is that we have um, a system whereby we want to record the monthly hours uh, for particular employees and we want the system to calculate uh, one their total hours and then their salary. Uh, the employees are based on a list of employees which I've got on a separate worksheet. So this is the list of employees that I'm dealing with. These are the hourly rates they're paid and these are the overtime rates um, that they're paid for any hours they work over 35 hours a week. Now I could just uh, allow users or users could just come into this uh, particular worksheet uh, key in the user at the employee ID and the details and the hourly rate and we could just calculate the salary on this one uh, but the principle is that we've got a number of people who could be using this system and we want to make sure that data is validated and it's as easy as possible to enter the employees uh, monthly hours the weekly hours that which add up to the monthly total uh, and then we want to do the calculations later so what I'm going to do is I've created a separate worksheet which I've called timesheet form down the bottom and this is the one that will be used by the users to enter each employee's um, weekly hours and it will calculate their total hours, uh, the basic pay, overtime pay and total salary and then in later tutorials we see how this, this detail is going to be saved and actually stored on this worksheet, the timesheet table worksheet. So we're just going to concentrate on getting the form set up so there's some data validation. First off the employee ID section first name and last name. In um, a tutorial after this I'm going to show you how to do that with using a VLOOKUP so that the details are returned from this employees worksheet. So these details here will be returned based on a VLOOKUP. You enter the employee ID and they're going to be filled in here. Um, but the user's actually got to enter the hours for week one, two, um, whoops I can see there's an error on there, week one, two, three and four. And what we want to make sure is that the user can only enter information into the parts of the worksheet that they should be able to. So we're going to use some um, validation on this on the data tab. First off what we need to do is I'm going to hold down the control key and, and I'm just going to set up, I've already clicked on the first cell I want this one, I'm going to click on all the cells that I want the, um, the user to be able to enter data in. So I've put in the four weekly our cells there and I'm going to click over here on employee ID, first name, last name, hourly rate and overtime rate. Now they're all the cells that people should be able to enter data into. If I right click my mouse and I held down the control key so all of those cells are now uh, selected at once so whatever I do now is going to affect all those cells. Right click the mouse, format cells, go on to protection and by default in Excel um, all cells will have this flag locked clicked on. So that's what you'll see when you come in. If you click it off, and it makes sense why we need to do it at the moment, so they're unlocked, we press OK. Now nothing happens, there's no protection until we actually, uh, we can still get into any cell we want, we can key in what we want. What we need to do is protect view tab uh, and press protect sheet. Comes up with a bunch of options and you can put a password in to protect it. I'm not going to at the moment and I would advise not doing that until you've finished all your formatting as you keep having to enter the password again. But it says protect worksheet and contents of locked cells and now you can see the options. Allow all users of this worksheet to select locked cells and what, if I take that off what I'm saying now is that users will only be able to select unlocked cells and if you remember I just unlocked the cells that I wanted users to be able to enter data in. So now if we click on OK it should be that we can get into these cells and put in some values and so that's quite correct but we can't get into any other ones. You probably can't see on the video but I'm trying to click somewhere else. Anywhere else in the worksheet apart from the area which I highlighted here um, I can't get into. So any of the other parts are now protected. So now we've got a form where the user can only enter data where they're supposed to. So that part's okay. 
Uh, another thing I want to do with this form to make it more user friendly is these hours here now uh, the normal over to, uh, normal rate of hours is 35 hours a week uh, in addition they could work up to an extra 15 hours of overtime but the maximum any person any hours an employee can work on 50 hours a week so each of these cells here the hour cells should have some validation to say well you can't put in any number that's outside the range zero because they might have been off that week zero to fifty is what we want to put in and we're only going to take um, whole hours no decimals as well so now what I'm going to do is highlight the cells again uh, I'm not going to highlight just the these four cells here where we can put in the hours now I go to the data tab which is the one I wanted to look at afterwards uh, and I've just realized I've got to take the protection off not too good so let's put the validation on and protect the sheet first now let's take the validation off so now we've got to put the cells are unprotected so now I should be able to go and put the validation so I click in data I can see that the data validation tab at the top is appearing I'm going to highlight the four cells again that I want to put the data validation in okay and if I go into data validation and I've got some things I've already been playing with so I want whole numbers and I want between 0 not 60 as I was playing with before I want to put in 50 so that means that the numbers in there can be a whole number on the allow decimals and it's got to be between 0 and 50 I could put in an input message as well over the top of there um, just to give those and I can give a, another error message as well just in case make it something different so now we're getting prompts on here hours entered let's try this actually and put the protection back on so I'm going to go back to review protect sheet I only want users to be able to select the unlocked cells so it's all set correctly let's just check that yep I'm tapping outside of the cells they can't put anything and now let's see if we can enter anything other than uh, the value so uh, 51 for example if I click on that one down and it tells me that I can't put those values in so let's try 50 make sure that works yep that's accepted 